All right, I'd like to show you how to use conditionals, the if type statements. And to do this, I'm going to do a basic primality test. So I want to keep it nice and small because I want to just show you the if then if if conditionals. All right. So um, first of all, I'm going to prompt the user for a number from one to a hundred. So let's do let's see out. Um, give me a number um, from one to 100. And then I'm going to check to see if that number is prime using a basic primality test. So what we know about prime numbers um, is that, um, well, the basic thing is you only have to check up into the square root of the the number to figure out if it's prime. So that'd be up to 10. So any number, you just have to check from, uh, you know, one to 10 and see if those divide the number evenly or not, right? So I'm going to have a number that I'm checking. So my number is an, an int, so I'll have it num. And I'm gonna have a Boolean value to check whether it's prime, so prime, and I'm going to assume at first that it's just not prime, so false. Um, actually, let's assume it is prime at first. And then we can change it. All right, so we'll start with uh, assuming it's prime. And then if it divides by any of these numbers, then we're going to change it to um, being not prime. All right. So now I need to read in my number. So my number, um, let's see, in is going to be read into a num. Okay. And so I am going to print out my statement. So print, oops, std, c out. Um, so I'm going to print it. Print. Um, status and I'm going to print out the number and I'm gonna put the number num is uh, prime it isn't actually prime necessarily. We don't know what it is, but I'm going to just start with this. So end all. All right. So let's go ahead and run this and it should just prompt the number and then print the number out. So I run this and um, it prompts for a number. I give the number 17 and it says the number 17 is prime. So that's great. Um, if I run it again and I give it the number uh 25 it says the number 25 is prime well that's not great so now i need to check okay so how do i know if it's prime well let's figure it out so if the number is divisible by any prime number below from 1 to 10 then it's mm, composite right so if my number and I can do the remainder. If I divide by um, 2 and the remainder is 0, then what do we know? We know the number is composite, so it's not prime. So prime equals false. If the number divided by 3 equals 0, then we know it's also false or not prime. All right, so how many other prime numbers do we have? Well, we've got the numbers uh, 2, 3, uh, 5, 7. Those are the prime numbers, right? Uh, 2, 3, 5, and 7. Because 1's not prime, or it doesn't really matter, 2, 3 prime. 4 is not prime. 
5 is prime, 6 is not prime, 7 is prime, 8 is not prime, 9 is not prime, and 10 is not prime. And if we wanted to, we could throw in one more just for good luck. Because we could say, you know, um, we could throw in 11 if we wanted, and then we can go a much higher number. But that's okay. All right, so we can check all these things right here. And if any of these things are one of its factors, then it will mark it as being not prime. All right. So now I'm going to go through and say, well, how do we know if it's prime? Well, we could print out its status, but we don't actually want to print out the status. We can say if um, prime equals true, and I can just do um, if prime, because that's the same thing as prime equals true because it's Boolean, then I'll do this. Otherwise, I will do this other thing. Okay, so now I take this statement right here and I copy it. And I paste it in here and in here. And I can actually remove this one down here now because it's not important. All right, so if it is prime, then I can say it's prime. Otherwise, it is not prime. So I can change this to not prime. Okay, so what's this doing? It's saying it's if statement and then it's checking some conditional thing. The double equals means that both sides are the same. In this case, um, well, prime is a true false type thing and it's checking to see if it's true. I could have just used prime because prime is a Boolean and what you want inside these parentheses is a true or false Boolean value. But if it's not true, that means it's not prime. So that's why I have this else statement. So else is after it. So you can see you got the curly brace, the stuff inside of it, close curly brace, the else curly brace, and close curly brace. All right. So let's go ahead and check this and make sure it runs. So I run this and I pick in the number 25. And it says it is not prime. So that's good. I run it again with the number um, 13. Well, that is prime. Let's run it with something bigger. Let's try uh, 43. Well, that one's prime. Let's run it with uh, 85. Well, it's not prime. All right. So you can see that this thing looks like it's working. And we're checking all the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Now, we haven't done any checks to see if the numbers are too big or too small. So if I run this thing and I give it the number 101, well, it is still prime. But if I run it with a much higher number, like a 11111, bunch of ones, it also says it's prime. Is it prime? I, I don't know. Um, Maybe we know if we do, well, that would actually hit the 11. So let's say uh, 13, 13. We know that one is definitely not prime, but it says prime. So we are not catching everything. So we could do some kind of limitation things to prevent it from going too high. So let's do that. So if the number is higher than 1 and lower than 100, then we want to do stuff. So if the number is num is less than 1, And then we do an or statement here. So we do two ors because it's not a binary or it's a normal or. Num is greater than 100. So that means it's out of range. Then we can print out a message saying uh, cd c out uh, number 
actually the number. Um, and then I can put the number num is out of range. All right. And then I can do a, an end L. The problem with this is that it doesn't really prevent the rest of the code from running, right? So we could do this and we could make this thing more complex if we wanted. So let's go ahead and do that. So we printed out, it's out of range. So now we can say, we can have a nested if statement. So we can take this thing right here and we've got this right here. So if it's less than one, or greater than 100, then it's out of range. Else, it's inside range, right? So we can take this stuff right here and put it in the nested if statement. So cut that and paste this. And now, if the number is out of range, it will print out of range. And if it's not out of range, it will check to see if it's prime or not. So let's go ahead and run this. So now I'm going to give the number 1313 and it says the number 1313 is our of range. Okay. I need to fix that out of range, <clears throat> out of range. So that's great. Now let's run it again and let's pick a number that is in range. So let's say, uh, 121. Well, let's end out of range. Let's do 99. All right, it is not prime, but before it would catch the number 101. So it won't do that anymore because it's out of range now. So if I give it the number 100, 100, it shows me that it is not prime. And if I run it with a 101, 101, 101 it says it's out of range all right so you can see how to use um if statements you got a couple of if statements to change values if statements to do something and then you have a nested if statement and these all come with well these ones are here come with else statements so you can see how that works